from Dallas to Los Angeles and a screen near you. Here is B Wildcat 2. Hey guys, how's it going? B Wildcat 2 here. Back today with my 400th YouTube video. Wow. 400 videos is especially with this second channel that I have. I mean, got more than on my first channel. I th didn't even think that I'd use this channel that often, but so what I'm going to do for my 400th YouTube video is I'm going to do a uh, a Q&A video. So uh Without further ado, let's get this baby started. Alright, so these first couple that I have are from uh, my good friend uh, Orleans Operator. Uh, he's texted them to me, so I'm going to read um, them and answer them as I go. He's got four of them. First one is, why aren't you partnered? Because you should be. <laughs> it's because I have crappy quality. Oh my goodness, uh, and I don't have enough subscribers either, so, I mean, if you really want to get technical about it, um, that would be the answer, but thanks anyway. Um, question number two is, where are you applying for college? And um, the uh, answer for right now is that I've, I've applied to a couple colleges uh, around the area, um, local colleges, and a couple of community colleges for the first couple of years, then I'll probably transfer uh, since that would be the more cost efficient way of doing things. Number three, what is your dream job? My dream job would be probably to do something like uh, be a sports broadcaster for any baseball or football team, be like a PA guy, or do uh, radio stuff, or even television stuff. Um, but that's my dream job. And then uh, his last question is, do you plan on getting that HD PVR soon? <laughs> so, and the answer to that is, um, hopefully for Christmas, I will uh, be getting that. And I think that that uh, affects to uh, another question. But um, thanks for your questions, Orleans Operator. Uh, and uh, let me grab uh, the rest of them that I've gotten, and we'll be back in just a second. All right, I'm going to do these next couple uh, all in a row. Um, just got a couple left uh, that I received over Skype and Twitter. And if you want to send me a couple questions, you can always do so. My Twitter is at BeWildcat2, and my Skype is BeWildcat2 as well. So if you want to be a part of these things, and uh, then you can just uh, either leave them in the YouTube comments, or you can uh, send them to me through Twitter or Skype or heck, Google Plus if you want. Um, but anyway, probably the best way would be through Twitter or um, through YouTube, because I don't I uh, get on Skype only on weekends, pretty much nowadays. So, next couple of uh, questions come from the Rayburn Show. He says, "Who's your favorite YouTuber?" and uh, this is uh this is the answer to another one of these questions, but I'll get uh back to uh that question in a second. Uh probably not as fan. He's uh he's been in uh, my doing he's helped me out so much on YouTube and uh I always watch one of his videos if I'm like if I'm gone for a little while and I get back on YouTube the first thing I do is I'll click on his page and and try to watch as many of his videos as I can and catch up so because he's got so many series that I like that it's not even funny he's he puts so much work and effort into all of his videos and he's got a ton of stuff on his channel that he does and I mean I'm I'm over here and I'm trying to do a little bit of that and I'm like in amazed and wonder uh, how he can do this I mean he's got a Mac which obviously makes it easier for him to edit than it is for me on a PC, but I mean, I'm over here in awe and wonderment at how he can do all these things, get all these videos out like consistently, and people are always telling him that he needs to do more, and I'm like, oh my gosh, do you not know how much effort it takes to do this? So, uh, and they don't, they just watch the videos for their enjoyment, so anyway, um, his other question, he's got two, <clears throat> is one, what's one thing you find unique about your YouTube channel that isn't on any other? Um, well, uh, 
he and I were talking about this a little bit, and he and I, I talked to him, and he gave me an idea of what this answer would be. Um, I said something like, I do vlogs, like, like, almost all the time. If I need to do, like, a channel update or something, I'll actually get on the webcam, or if I'm doing, a, like, a special video, I'll get on the webcam, and I'll, I'll be like, yeah, here's my face. I, I mean, I have no problem doing that, and there's a lot of people that are sensitive about that, about um, being on like uh, being on camera, and so I don't know. That doesn't. It's like I don't think that's as unique as like what he and I were talking about, which is uh, my love for like Sonic the Hedgehog and and all these classic games that I I play sometimes, so that you guys don't watch. <laughs> I'm not trying to be mean, but that was the mo that 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 series, the Sonic the Hedgehog 2 series, was the least watched video, video set of videos, on the least watched series on my channel. So I probably didn't. E I probably could have kept it going, but I stopped at the Oil Ocean Zone because I was like, this is pointless. Nobody's gonna watch anymore anyway. So like, I'm kind of glad it's over. But I mean, if you guys <laughs> are are you going to prove me wrong and be like, we want some more Sonic the Hedgehog 2, even though we didn't watch it? I mean, all right. <laughs> okay, so um, I got two questions here from uh, my good friend Caleb, or It's Humdum. He's got a new channel. He's always changing his channels. He's, he says, uh, what's the first game console slash game you played? And, um... The first gaming console that I ever owned was a PlayStation 2. I think I've still got it somewhere packed in storage. It was one of those big, fat, bulky type of uh, PS2s. And um, that was the first console I ever had. I can't remember what the first game I ever played was, but I remember when I got the PS2 for Christmas in... What year was it? Was it 2002? Some, sounds like similar to something like that. Anyway, um, the first game I played, I had a couple games that I got with it. I think one was Namco Museum, which was pretty fun, because you got to play games like Dig Dug and Pac-Man, stuff like that. Um, I had a Scooby-Doo Night of, or, the, it was like a Scooby-Doo game where you could play, like, you went through the castle looking for clues, it, it was like, and you had to... It was like Night of a Thousand Frights or something like that. You were at a haunted mansion. You had to go through... I can't remember what it was called, but it was so much fun. But it, it bugged the crap out of me. I finally beat it. I was like, yes, my childhood has been a success because I beat this game. Then I had a couple others. I remember, I think I had a, a Star... Uh, not a Star Trek. Um, a Hot Wheels. Where did I get Star Trek from Hot Wheels? I think I've still got that game, too, somewhere... I've got a bunch of games that I remember from my childhood. Oh, and I also had a a game uh, that was like a Atari anthology or something. It was like a it was like the Namco Museum, only it was like with Atari games. So that was pretty fun. And then his other um, thing that he said is, "What bugs you most about other people on YouTube?" And I mean, there's not a really a whole lot that bugs me about other people on YouTube. Um, like I'll I'll I won't watch people that like like I'm not trying to be mean or anything, but I do not really care for Chris Smith. I'll watch his videos every once in a while and see if he's changed. But I mean the way he's treated the community, I mean that's not how I want to be if I ever become one of these guys on YouTube that is making money off of it and making a lot of money off of it. That's not the kind of person I want to be. I mean, the community is w the original, the first thousand subscribers is what is going to be the p the homies that helped you get to where you were. And then from there, you can only go up. So each one of you guys is very special to me, except for those that unsubscribed, like, back in the summertime. I don't think I've gained any subscribers since summer, which is awful. I'm at 470 now, so I'm 30 subscribers away from 500, which is about 100 more than my videos. So I'm about 70 subscribers more uh, than I have videos-wise. So, okay, pretty good with me. I mean, um, this next one comes from my good friend Sweet Chin Music. He's a uh, He's an awesome fella. I mean, he comes to most of my live streams when he can. 
and he started live streaming on his own, which means, which I've been trying to get to some of your streams, man, but like with football and all this stuff going on in my life, it's been really tough. But you know, I'll go to other people's live streams when I have the opportunity to. So he asks, who's your favorite baseball player? And I told him, I was like, Chris Sweet. <laughs> and he laughed, but um, I guess my favorite baseball player, I'm not going to, you might be surprised with who my favorite baseball player is, is because um, you might think, oh, you're a Rangers fan. You must like, oh, I don't know, Josh Hamilton or Ian Kinsler. And then, uh, to tell you the truth, my favorite player has got to be uh, Bryce Harper right now, as of right now, as of... Uh, October 2012, my favorite player is Bryce Harper, I guess. I mean, like, I'm not trying to be me. I used to love Hamilton, and especially after his four-home run game against Baltimore back in May, he was, he was like, he's a beast. But now, I mean, he's proven that he can't perform in the clutch and good riddance to him. If he leaves, then fine with me. Start from scratch. We don't need him. So, anyway, um... Hold on, I got a text message. Oh boy. Alright, just a Twitter. Okay. <laughs> anyway, um, my good friend Mo the Foe 16, he's part of the homie crew. You know how uh, they got the maid men with K Spade and QJB and all of them? Well, my maid men crew consists of Mo the Foe 16, Eric 97P, straight out of Boston, and Burns, straight XX, the Burns 2211. XX. <laughs> so, anyway, he asks, uh, how do you think the World Series is going to go? And, well, right now, as of right now, it, it looks like, the as of I'm recording this, the NLCS isn't even over. The Cardinals had a 3-1 lead on the series, but the Giants have come back to, I believe, tied at 3, unless the Cardinals have come back in this game to, to either win or tie the game up. I think it's going to come down to Game 7, and... You know the Giants have won five straight. Or if the if they win this game, which I don't know because I'm recording this before the game's over, if they've won either five slash six elimination games in a row. But I think the Cardinals have not been eliminated in an elimination game since like 2004 or something. No, not 2004. Yeah, 2004. So it's like, um, who do you choose? I mean the. The Giants and the Cardinals both have something's got to give here. So, I mean, whoever it comes down to against Detroit, um, I don't think Detroit's bullpen is good enough to uh, take it back to take it the uh, World Ser Series trophy home. I mean, their offense can probably out slug some teams. I mean, St. Louis uh, could probably they could probably keep play keep pace in the with their offense, but I don't know about San Francisco, but. I think that if it comes down to the bullpen, I wouldn't want the bullpen to be trusted for Detroit because they don't have the best of bullpens. Um, and I think that's what gives the National League the advantage. Plus, the home field advantage obviously gives them an advantage too. So, okay, back to my question about earlier about um, what the Rayburn Show said. 2K Cheese, he asked me, who got you in interested in slash inspired to start making YouTube videos and it was uh, definitely not a fan um, hanging out in his live streams then becoming a moderator getting on the Skype call then when I got my PS3 for Christmas I mean I started I got MLB boom started making videos then had Madden at one point but I couldn't really do much without like having a way to uh, at first I've come from all the way from being like taking the highlight reels from the games and putting them together and going to dazzle and then hopefully upgrading to HD by the end of the year. So it's been like a it's been a long process over the span of the year and it's come through 400 YouTube videos and I'm proud to say that I mean he's been there and helping me out and uh, he's what got me interested in starting to do these kind of things. So I uh, owe oh, a lot to him. So. Um, and then I th the last question I have here is from Devil Dog 360, who's a good subscriber. Uh, he watches most of my videos. He'll like a couple of them if I ask him to. No, I'm just kidding. He'll if he watches it, I guarantee you he most likely will like it. He asks what your plans are for 2013, and uh, I think this is a. Uh, it, depending upon how uh, Christmas time goes, which, by the way, when it gets to Christmas time, I'll probably Billy give you guys a couple of videos of like 
what you what I got if you're interested, which you probably won't be because you'll be like, yeah, I got way better stuff than you, noob. So, I mean, you just let me know <laughs> if you're still watching at this point. Anyway, my plans for 2013. Um, hopefully, uh, I mean, I'll have Madden. I have NCAA right now. Hopefully, I'll be getting MLB 13, the show. Uh, probably not midnight release unless I because I'll probably have school the next day unless that's spring break. Would that be spring break? I, I don't know. I don't know whether that would if that fell on spring break or not. Hopefully uh, I'll get it like same day release like I I did uh, this year. I didn't get it at midnight or anything but I got it like after school that one the first day it came out and hopefully I'll be getting MLB 13 the show and uh, I'll hopefully I'll be in HD by then so hopefully I'll be Maybe I might be partnered by the time that comes out, but uh, I was talking about this with uh, Straight Out of Boston in his live stream the other night. Uh, the uh, AT and T is going to uh, be upgrading us um, to UVerse at the end of the year for free because they have to because uh, they won't be providing DSL anymore. So they're coming out and they're going to do it for free, and uh, so hopefully UVerse will be better than the crap I have right now. So hopefully. I'll be be able. I'll definitely as football will be over by the time 2013 rolls around. Um, this is my senior year, so I, hopefully YouTube will be picking up as long as my schoolwork, uh, as long as my school studies uh, keep up uh, well as well. Um, like as long as I keep my grades up, my YouTube uh, should be on the rise as well. So, heck, I don't know what what's going to happen in 2013, but it looks promising as of right now. I mean, I try not to. Uh, be uh, pessimistic about my future, but optimism shines, they always say. So, you know, I'm looking forward to it, and hopefully we don't all die on December 21st <laughs> this year. So, who knows? Maybe, will we be still, will we still be able to talk about 2013 um, if we're all dead, but hopefully not. So, I don't believe all that garbage, but that's it for a different time. So, um, time for me to uh, let you all go. I've gone too long as normal with these qu question and answer videos. Ha, thank you guys for being here for my first 400 YouTube videos. And who heck, who knows how much far we can get? Let's get to a thousand videos. Would that be that would be awesome? So, if you keep this keep supporting me, uh, like this video if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new. I will have more sports gaming footage for you later. So, uh, I'm B Wildcat 2 and uh I will be talking to you guys in another time. Bye now.